so hello children we move on to exercise 12c now and this is my first video on 12c so we are doing fundamental concepts of algebra this is my fourth video lesson so in the previous three lessons i have finished exercise 12a and 12b so here we start something very important i told you in my previous video we are going to start polynomial so polynomials are nothing but algebraic expression so these are all polynomial labels they are variable m n p q x and constant terms so constant terms are there this is 5 1 so constant term with variable also you have okay so these are pure constant term these are constant term with variable so we have two type of polynomial children in one variable just you will see x all of them are x or all of them are y okay so two things polynomials in one variable and two or more variables see here these were all x we could have had y a b here you see mn is there pq is there so these are two or more variable now another very important thing children is degree what is degree of a polynomial so see here it is the highest power of x so here you see x if nothing is there means its power is 1 so highest power is 2 and then highest power if you see is 4 so see this is the highest power this is the highest power this is the highest power so degree is the highest power in that particular expression so when you have two or more variable it is little tricky you have to see so here you see the add the different like here this power is 3 and this is 1 so you see the power of this is together 4 this is 2 plus 1 3 power of m is 2 squared and n is 1 this is m1 n1 so this is 1 plus 1 this is power 0 constant terms are x to the power 0 which is 0 so you see cube and 1 gives you 4 so degree is the highest sum of the power you can see. highest sum you add see here this is 2 and this is 1 in second question so the highest sum is 3 here the sum is 3 here this is 1 plus 1 p1 q1 this is p1 so this is only 1 and this is 0 so among all the terms you see the highest sum is of this term so degree is 3 so degree is the highest sum wherever it is sometime it this is almost descending order sometime it is ascending order of power okay the power is increasing some po times power is decreasing so through practice children i'm going to do quite a few questions to clarif clarify your concepts something very important you see no term of the polynomial which is an algebraic uh, expression is of the form means x variable should not be in the denominator so you have not done indices exponent chapter you are only in class 6 next year you will see if you write this is x to the power minus 1 this is x to the power minus 2 so no negative power okay whatever power we have it should be positive power whole number because 0 is 0 so this power will be 0 so 0 is also a whole number so negative power so now you will not understand just this much you understand that the variable should not be in the denominator okay so this we have to keep in mind otherwise it's not a polynomial at all so if it is not a polynomial there is no question of getting the degree so with this basic idea children may we move on to uh, question one and two so please, po please pause the video and copy so next we move on to question number one after understanding the concept so question one is asking so i'm going to do all the odd number part of the sum you do the even number part of the sum so but one extra i'm doing just to make you understand this so one extra one even number doing even numbered i'm doing others all odd numbered questions once 
those part of the question I'm doing, which of which are polynomial and find the degree. So here you see I told you the highest power. So highest power is 3. So which are polynomial? Yes. So I can use a blue ink over here so you can understand which of the following. Yes, it is a polynomial. Yes. Okay. Why? Because there is no something like this no variable in the denominator so it has no variable in the denominator yes it is a polynomial so first answer is yes or no like here this two i'll tell you no these are not a polynomial okay see as it is in denominator okay and x square it is in denominator so they are not a polynomial so children there is no question of finding the degree of a polynomial when it's not a polynomial so here there is no question of finding degree yes it is a polynomial what is the degree highest power its degree is children 3 see next question see 1 by 4 this is a constant you say sir here it is in denominator variable x is not in the denominator children it is a constant 1 by 4 4 is a number so here whether this is a polynomial yes there is no x down 4 is down no problem yes it is a polynomial what is the degree children the highest power of x x power is 4 3 1 and 0 this you can write it as x to the power 7 x to the power 0 which is highest 4 so degree of this is 4 now see here, is it a polynomial? Yes. What is the degree of this? 6. Here x is 0 and 6. So highest is 6. So highest power is 6. So deg uh, degree is 6. Here, as I explained to you, this is 6 and 7 are not a polynomial. x is square is in denominator and z is in denominator. So there is no question of degree because it's not a polynomial. Here again, yes, this is a polynomial. This is a polynomial. 8, see, 8 is in the denominator. It is a number. In denominator, there should not be a variable. And last few, if you have seen my video lesson, variable are alphabets. A, B, C, X, Y, Z. What is the degree? So highest power is 2. I told you when nothing is there, you can imagine it is here z to the power 0 okay z to the power 0 because anything to the power 0 is 1 so degree if you see children highest degree so there is no degree here z is 0 0 degree so degree is 2 so this is out of 9 part I have done 6 part okay so you are left with to do only 3 part part 2 part 4 part 5 6 I have done and part 8 so kindly pause the video and copy you can play back also rewind and see so copy nicely then we move on to question number 2 so next we move on to question number 2 where we don't have to say whether they are polynomial or not so just you have to find the degree means they are if you see polynomial in one variable so next question and onward you will see we will have two variable so this is a question of one variable they are polynomial so we have to just find that degree so very fast we can do what is the highest power children see here power is zero means nothing means x to the power is zero okay this is one so i'm writing in and x nothing means power one so which is highest so degree is your 2 the highest power of x is 0 1 2 which is highest which is biggest 2 here you see same weight has 0 same way 6 x to the power 0 this has 1 so don't look for smaller see the highest highest is x to the power 3 same way here children degree is we are writing 3 here y is power nothing means 1 and this is 3 here if you see m cube this is also 3 okay and this is a constant term here if you see degree is 0 1 2 3 4 so t to the power 4 so degree is 4 if you see degree is 4 okay so 
degree here is 4 okay so this is what we have done learning about degree of a polynomial in one variable so kindly pause the video and write so next we move on to number three where children you will see we are finding whether which of the following are polynomial not here this is polynomial in two or more variable you see m m n a b both are there so previous question we had one variable x y or a or b so here you see p q okay so these are in one or more variable okay so let us see whether they are polynomial or not yes it is a polynomial this is not a polynomial see children i will use blue marker pen over here because you will see so first thing yes you will say sir what is yes yes it is a polynomial okay in two variable m and n what is the degree degree now try to understand here m's power is 2 n's power is 2 and here m n 1 1 plus 1 so this is also 2 so degree children is 2 okay here 2 2 2 all are equal so highest degree is 2 lowest degree is also 2 all are 2 this one children first which of the following are polynomial is this a polynomial no 2 by y i told you in the beginning anything in the denominator if you have x y numbers can be there 2 by 3 can be there x y if any variable any literal a to z alphabet is there in the denominator then it's not a polynomial so no it's not a polynomial so there is no question of degree next number five so see here the power yes whether it is a polynomial or not yes nothing in the denominator like this okay so like here you will see i'll explain this is not a polynomial because x square is in the denominator i told you variable x y a b or their square or their cube should not be in den the denominator so this is not a polynomial yes this is a polynomial like this is also not a polynomial so this is also children not a polynomial so no question of degree so this is a polynomial and this is also a polynomial so first question is that if it question if this question comes in exam one mark for saying yes or no and second mark if it is yes what is the degree so see here degree 2 plus 1 3 this is 1 plus 2 a's power is 1, b's power is 2, so sum of the highest power is 3, 1, 1, so here the power is 1, 1, so sum of the powers is 2, so what is the highest, 3, 3, both of them are highest, so you take any 1, so degree is 3, this is not a polynomial, this is a polynomial, see numbers can be in denominator, x, x, y cannot be in the denominator, yes, this is a polynomial what is the power c here 2 plus 2 here this 2 this is 2 plus 2 this is also 2 plus 2 so all of them have sum of the power equal to 4 so degree will be 4 okay so you can go back again rewind and see so out of uh, question number 3 we have 8 part if you see children I have done one, two, three, four, five, six. So only there are two parts for you to do and see. So we move on to the final question for today. So question five, children, I have done almost one to four, more than half. Okay. So uh, question five is true and false. So please try with this basic idea. I am only not doing question five, true and false. So please apply your idea, do it and check with the answer. So here we go. These are polynomial in two or more variable. Okay. So here x, y, z, three variable is there. Three variable is there. Two variable is there. Two variable is there. So two variable. So now they are a polynomial. You don't have to uh, tell yes or no because there is nothing in the denominator. You will say no 
mn xyz or pq in the denominator so they are a polynomial in two or more variable question is find the degrees so find the degree so here you see each one has one power so children degree if you see degree of the first question is one 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 all of them here you see this is quite important here some of the degree you have to find x is one y is one z is one and here the power of x is two so this is two so degree is three don't think so it is one 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 we add the power and we take the highest sum next here what is this 2 plus 1 okay m square and 1 m is 1 n's power 2 okay here 1 1 1 plus 1 m's power 1 n's power 1 this is m square n so m's power 1 and 1 and this is 0 okay not 1 this is 0 because this you can assume to be n 0 m0 and n0 so 0 plus 0 is another 0 okay so don't consider this just see which is the highest so which is highest 3 3 so answer is degree of this polynomial is 3 same way see here this is 2 plus 2 p square q square this is 1 plus 2 this is 2 plus 1 and this is 0 I have explained why okay p0 q0 you can assume it is has p0 q0 means they are not there anything any variable to the power 0 is 1 so this is 0 plus 0 is 0 so what is the highest children what is the highest sum of the power so 2 plus 2 is 4 children this is 3 this is 3 this is 0 so highest sum is 2 plus 2 4 last so here 2 plus 3 so this is 2 plus 3 m square n cube this is 1 plus 2 and this is 4 so out of this last question which is the highest sum of power highest sum of power is 5 okay this is 5 this is 3 and this is 4 so this is how we come to the end of this exercise 12c please do the true and false on your own and this uh, in class 11 and 12 we have something called differential equation so where there we are again see degree of the equation okay so this has lot of practical application in your especially class 11 and 12 after class 6 we will have in 7 maybe then uh, not much about this we talk yes we will have algebra lot of things so this you do nicely children remember this will come back again later on in class 11 and 12 so kindly pause your video and copy and thank you children for watching this video lesson